Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today um, as we are getting ready to clean up all this big mess. <laughs> get everything all in order here in the next week. Um, I found this. So I have a feeling as I go through and clean out things in the craziness of the last couple of three years, um, I miss some things. So I'm going to do an up opening of a Scarlet Lime Planner Society box that I have not opened. So anyways, I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm glad you're here with me today to uh, see um, what is here. I was trying to see if there was even a date on this. Oh, this is from December. <laughs> oh my, oops, sorry guys. Um, and I don't know if that was December 2018 or 2017. <laughs> so any of you who do part Scarlet Lamb, uh, Scar Scarlet Lime Planner Society, and you see me opening this, um, tell me which, which December it was. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's let's get her done. Um, so this was loose in the box, so that must have been just something they had to add in at the end. But let's see here. I think I am just going to use my little Exacto knife that I have out because I really try to save this paper. And um, well, maybe it'll come up. Let's see. It's so old. I'm afraid I'm not going to get it to come up without undo. So let me see here. I don't think it's going to come up. Well, maybe. Nope. Maybe not. Well, let's see if I just can't semi-peel it off so I can at least open easier. Easier. <laughs> this part. Oh, but it's trying to tear. Okay, well, some of these things probably come a little torn every now and then. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was definitely not a Sue. That was definitely torn before. So... <laughs> All right, I have not, um, I was sent a lot of emails to sign up for the new one. Oh, and I just tore it more. Um, but I have not signed up. I have decided to bloom where I'm planted and use what I have. And, um, clearly I have things that I need to go back and find and use. So, <laughs> I do love using the bags. I think that they're gorgeous and they're really good quality, nice, nice weight. So, I will definitely use this. I may use it in a junk journal, or I may just cut it apart and use it. I love these. These are really pretty. So, oh, look. Well, doggone. I should have paid attention. <laughs> I kind of like this one. I, I like them all, but uh, definitely some more than others. So, I love that. So, this is just a, like, you know, zipper pouch. Um, let me see if I can get this undone easily. Yes, I can. So... Sorry for the noise. There we go. And isn't that cute? It has little stars on it. So I don't know. It stars and bubbles. That is so cute. Super cute. They're always that really nice wipeable surface, which I don't know about y'all, but I have kids and critters and uh, we live on a small hobby farm. So I'm always like wiping and cleaning everything. So anything with a wipeable, wipeable surface is always great. Always great. Never in the history of my life has my house been like this. So, uh, I, I can't decide whether we need to hire moving people to come in and help us or whatever. But my husband's like, you might want to hire somebody. So, anyways, we'll see. We'll see. So, look at the darling. Oh, so one. That's so cute. So, here's the little star with a little, like, rhinestone in it. And then there's this bow that... I may need to like fluff it or do something to it. And it's got a lobster clasp, so you can clasp it onto the corner of your um, planner and then look at this pretty pink bow. You know, it's velvet. It kind of makes hint that it's winter, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's really cute. So, I mean, I might use it not at winter is what I'm kind of referring to. So, ooh, another pretty pen. I love these pens. The only thing I have to say, and I'm hoping that if she ever sees this, <laughs> Christy... <laughs> Um, these do not go on the end like that. I carry one of these in my purse, and I was yesterday at church, or actually it's in my church, uh, my faith planner, and I had it at church with me, taking notes, and I had to just keep taking off the lid and just setting it in my purse, because I was afraid I'd drop it and it'd roll, you know, it'd roll under everybody's chairs, and you know how that goes, so you could just see me, but, um, but that is really pretty. It's an interesting combination of, of, uh, patterns and colors. Um, but it's fun. I like it. So, alrighty. I'm going to stick that here so I don't forget to use it. With a couple of other 
Scarlet Line Planner Society pens. Oh, I love those sticky notes. Those are gorgeous. I have some new things I was going to use in my planning videos right after this, but I may just use the, pardon me, use this because it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. It already came off. So, let me put that right there for now. But, and actually, I should just take it off because I always use these. Ooh, that one was glued. Well, I could still use it. I can still use it. We can still use it. Um, I use these in um, when I'm crafting, and I just trim off the top, and then I use this as a backing. So it can still be used. So, all right. There's that little sticker. And then here are these. So super, super cute. And actually, what I usually do with the one that was on there is I do it like this, top to bottom. And then this will be the new backing for this. Super, super cute. Love that. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, I like the washi too. That is really pretty. It's got uh, silver bows, black plaid with flecks of pink behind it. So super, super cute. Love that. And here is the um, ephemera, which is always pretty. So pink roses. Oh, and of course, I will use that card that's in there. And then, oh, that's cute. With the logs and the pine. Cute, cute, cute. So it really is kind of a wintry, but, you know, we're still March. People were still getting out their heavy coats last week. Um, oh, I love that. I love the throw. Super cute. Sorry my husband's mowing right outside. Um, oh, the mason jar candles. That's cute. So some more flowers and some more flowers. And a star with flowers and a little deer and a candle and some more flowers I mean more uh, uh, pardon me stars hung on uh, like branches in a pitcher super cute and let me see here a, looks like a planner some mittens all kinds of good stuff there cameras the same as that but smaller uh, this is cute mittens Mittens with a heart in them. Snow on the edges of it. Super cute. Maybe that's a snow heart. That is cute. I love that. That reminds me of uh, New Mexico. And you can hear my birds going crazy because my husband's right out there mowing. Um, table, pillows, yarn. Super cute. Uh, she is anything but ordinary. I love that. You don't have to be perfect to be beautiful. That is so great. No, be no beauty shines than a brighter kind heart. I love that. That's really pretty. And the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. That's lovely. And then, whoops, there's something on there. Shine bright with her camera. Uh, shine bright. Same thing. Shine bright. So super cute. I do miss this, this uh, subscription, but right now I'm just trying to get everything set up or moved and then set up and then see if I really need anything which I don't think I do so <laughs> all right as I drop these of course here's another card I'll use and then here are the um, like dividers that say today and notes and month and week and lists and again today notes in the silver month and week and lists so super cute super super cute she always does the cutest stuff and these are my all-time favorite I love her pockets the number one reason why is they work um, I have bought Erin Condren pockets I've bought a lot of different pockets that you stick on and these are the best so there's that cute pink plaid with the stars and the bubbles um, pink and gray plaid there is just kind of uh, light blue with the silver stars and bubbles and flex and then there's the dark gray plaid same background oh and the pink one I like that those are cute sorry my birds are going crazy they can hear me now okay so let's let's get organized <laughs> I'm gonna set that there okay so um okay these are the stickers that I love for like mini planners or planners period um, and many of you that follow the channel know I have put my mini planner to the side. Actually, I can't find it from that trip still. I know, it's embarrassing. And I will use this definitely. So this has the black drawn flowers with pink 
uh, stars, bubbles, and flecks behind it. Super pretty. And alrighty, so let's see this. But I will use these in my planner today. Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of planner videos ahead before the big move starts and everything happens um, tomorrow. So, anyways. But, ooh, I love that. So, it's a lot of the same ephemera are made again in the stars as well as the boxes. So, the flowers, the mittens, the stars, super cute. And then here again, exactly the ephemera that was there. It's just made smaller into a sticker. So cute. I love this. These are the word stickers. And I love that she does a lot of rose gold. I love rose gold. Everybody knows that watches my channel. So, and she mixed two different metals. She did rose gold and silver. And I kind of like that. And then here's that other um, ephemera piece that's in different sizes. Shine bright. And that's that. So, hold on one sec. There it is. I'm going to keep this in case I don't use all my stickers. I'll put them back in that. Okay. So, let's see here. Now, oh, this is Darlene. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Again, I wish. I know. I want to go back. So, these are just Darlene bookmarks. So, there's two of them. There's a small one and a big one for two different size planners. And look at the flowers on there with the black and the white. Um, kind of cording, and then they have the opposite color of the flower. And that is silver on there. Those are so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and then we will definitely use that. <laughs> we use the whole buffalo, and I will use that in my sticky, when I do stickers, I mean uh, glue, sticking with glue. So here are her dimensional um, words and all the kind of goodies to be used. So that'll be darling. I love Planner Girl, but I would still use this more in scrapbooking. I just don't like thickening up my planner that much anymore, so I love that. Okay, and then, ooh, that's neat. Border, glitter, stickers, and uh, bows. I really like that. That's very neutral, and I really, really like that. And, of course, it comes on that incredible piece of, uh, it's on an acetate, then it's got the backing in there with the the board so I use that I will use that as you will know and then lastly let's open this before we get to the paper so here are the dividers and she always gives you sticker tabs so you can see those I mean I can't imagine honestly redoing my planner every single month but she sends you all the stuff so you could and I think that's great and then, of course, you have that same background card in there I will use. And then, here are the dividers. And you will see these same papers replicated in the actual um, 8.5 by 11 paper. Sorry, they're getting really loud. Um, so, very cute. Very nicely done. They are all always so well done. Um, once I get everything set up, Scarlet Lamb Planner Society will definitely have to have its own little drawer or bin so that I can start pulling all that out and using it. Pardon me, I kind of caught my breath there. But um, really, really well done, and they're ready to be just folded and used. So, all right, last but not least, let's see, I'm going to open this up, this gorgeous paper. All right. Let's see if I can. I think I can, I think I can. Okay. All righty. Here we go. This thrown away. Ooh, and I'm glad I took a minute because this paper has the gold foiling and it has texture to it. So it is really pretty and I'll show you why it has texture. Because these little dots, you can feel it on the other side. Isn't that pretty? So you've got these two. Then you've got this one, which was one of the bags. It has the pink background of stars and heart, uh, stars, bubbles, and dots. Oh, and I love that with the silver foil. So pretty. Okay. Next. Ooh. Okay, let's put this underneath so we can really look at this. So now is the acetate. Ooh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Mm, I love that. So it has that silver star bubble paint fleck look. And it also has the pink in there. I almost couldn't even see the pink. I don't know if y'all can. Um, maybe you can see it. Yeah, now you can see it maybe a little bit better. 
and get it up against it so we don't get the shadow. Isn't that amazing? I know. She is really talented. Whoever are her artist, they do a great job. Okay, then we have the vellum, which we've seen this pattern, the gray plaid with the pink stars and pink bubbles and pink splatter. And then, sorry my birds are getting louder and louder. <laughs> Here's that same dark black sketches with the pink uh, similar background stars, bubbles, and paint flex. And let's see. Okay, yeah. And then this is, I think, yep. So there's that one. And then there's the back of that. Very pretty. They're just getting louder and louder, those little stinkers. And then this is what we started with. So that is my Scarlet Line Planner Society haul. I also wanted to share that I got these two little thick rolls of washi. They're, um, I think they're vellum-esque. Let's see if I remember right. And, of course, they have the gold on them. And I don't know if I'm going to use this for the wedding or just for just for things. But I thought they were really pretty. And I just got them. Again, these were Ally, Ally Express. Yeah. And so there's that pattern. And then there's this pattern. And then hold on. Let me pull this off and let's see how it looks. Well... Hmm. Let me see here. Well, I hope you guys are having a good day. It has been so busy here. That is really beautiful, and it has a backing. So, it is like vellum. Very washi-esque, no doubt. So, um, we've had a great weekend. Went back to our church in San Antonio yesterday and loved every minute of it. Um, it is further away, so it's an hour and 20 minutes one way. So, um, but our pastor has retired, though they are still there, and we're so thankful they're still there. Um, he still helps out. He still helps, you know, they bounce ideas off of him, things like that. So, it, um, it was a great time to sit in fellowship with he and his wife. I love his wife. Um, I just can't say enough about her. She's an amazing woman, and, um... We just had a really great day. We went and ate lunch with one of our daughter's friends, and that was fun. And then we had to hit the Smoothie King and, you know, all this stuff. You know, we've been doing that cleanse. And uh, it's over. We did great. We lived just, I mean, I'm not going to say I was 100%. I did the best I could. I could not do some of the juices. I mean, the I could do all the juices. I could not do some of the soups. Um, there were some spices in them. I, one of them was just flat too hot. And then there were there was one that was borderline too hot that I had to break and have yogurt to put on my stomach because it was um, really irritating my stomach. It was had a lot of pepper in it, and um, yogurt milk coat my stomach. So yeah, and I don't do cow's milk um, just because, and um, I'm very hooked on plant based milk. So um, I did a little bit of yogurt and kind of coated my tummy, um, but um, I lost. Let me stop and think. Um, I lost roughly, um, six to seven pounds and that was in three days. So we all know it's water weight, but you know what? It's good. I mean, I'm good. We're, we've kind of reset our taste buds. Um, I'm not going to say I was a hundred percent. I did the best I could. Um, I, it wasn't a lot of protein and I need a lot of protein to take my supplements and medicine I have to take for my my shingles, my, my stomach issues. I mean, there's just a lot of different things and I know what my limits are, you know, but I'm enjoying reading the book Love Body and I will share more about that later if y'all are interested. And yeah, so it's all working out good. So, but we broke our fast yesterday. We had a salad for lunch. We got a smoothie king, a smoothie on the way home. I got a vegan and, um, and then we came home last night and we had stir fry with tofu and it was really good. I mean, but I even couldn't eat all that. I had to give it to my husband. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, I still have this cough hanging around. But um, but it was good. I mean, you know, he was happy. I was happy. Because he kept saying, is there any more food? And we were like, mm, nope. <laughs> you know, because he picked out at Trader Joe's. We did go to Trader Joe's yesterday. And he picked out these bowls of veggies that we could bring home and just stir fry and, you know, put seasoning and I used the garlic amino, garlic coconut aminos, and um, seasoned the tofu, and then I um, cooked the veggies in a little bit of avocado oil and 
the tofu and a little bit of avocado oil first, and then I added in my onions, and then I added in the bowl, and, um, yeah, and it was really good. It was just, um, next time he bought two, the next time we had it, I will chop down the veggies. Some of them were too big, and I am not, I can't do broccoli anymore. I used to love broccoli, and I can't do it anymore, so, you know, I was pawning part of that off last night, but... You know, and then I had my yogurt for dessert with my um, bran buds, and considering that was, I had one bite of my husband's piece of like, you know, I don't know, what's that dark, dark brown, not rye, but pumpernickel bread with our salad. I literally had a piece that was like, you know, like that big maybe at the most, and um, and that's it. I mean, I did, they didn't have my salad dressing where we ate. I had to put a little bit of ranch on it, which I haven't had ranch in years, and, um, I have to honestly say it tasted fine, but it wasn't my first pick. And, um, you know, your taste buds change with time. And so that was a good thing. I mean, I was really like very thankful. And then, uh, we came home and we watched Muppets in Space. So, um, today's very busy, um, because yesterday was our Sabbath. Today is, um, my husband's getting the, um, pasture ready for some things that are going out there, are going on out there tomorrow. I'm going to catch up and get ahead on all my videos. Um, I somehow didn't get a video up yesterday, which I was just like, what? So I'll probably put this video up for, you know, yesterday, but um, I'm not sure. I'll see. But I usually only miss like one every now and then unless we have technical difficulties or somebody's sick or we have an emergency. But I try to get a video up every day. I was very shocked when I was in San Antonio. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have brought my laptop. But the point of having a day of I always called um, our church day the day with the Lord and with our children, you know, the Lord and family day. And so I didn't feel badly. And, and when I looked at that late last night, I just thought, let it go. Just let it go. That's what yesterday was all about. And I just, we have a new pastor and um, took copious notes. And it was just, a, it was an amazing amazing day in the church and our church has bought a new building and so we got to go see the new building and we got to I only saw part of it because my husband dropped me where I could go up the ramp and um you know instead of going in the front door because there's like a ton of steps but um honestly I'm just so I was so happy I mean I, I don't know what it is about sitting in church and being with good people and singing praises, and being taught really meaty subjects, and being called into accountability, too. I mean, you know, one thing, my husband went and talked to a pastor afterwards, the new pastor, and of course, we all talked to our old pastor, and um, the new pastor and I, you know, he, I had missed one of the points on his sermon, so I asked him the question, and anyways, he, um, my husband was talking to him a lot, and I was just trying to get my one question in, because then I knew our old pastor was like, you know, you know, so-and-so family, uh, don't leave, you know, Chris, don't leave, and I said, I won't leave, we won't leave, we promise, because we didn't want to cut anybody off that was visiting with them, and so we just sat and chatted for the longest time, my husband and, of course, my youngest daughter were there, and they came over and started chatting, and, you know, it was just one of those times where we are new to this church, this church has changed so much, you know, from being in a rented facility to being in a full-blown building of their own in I I think like 30 almost 30 years I mean it's just been it's a very long history with this church when when I oversaw the children's program at, at a very large church um, they rented out our facilities on the Sabbath on their Sabbath which was Saturday and so we shared facilities and the best thing I heard yesterday is that our church now is sharing facilities with two other churches and I told my husband I said I just love the spirit of giving in this church and the sm the smartness fiscally you know that in other words they are as far as I know this church was bought free and clear and you know my husband and I sat and you know we're praying for our pastor and his wife always the former pastor and now the new pastor and um anyways it's just that season of you know, I sat there and it was just like, gosh, we're home. We're home. You know, even though all there were a lot of new people, there was a sweet lady who sat behind me who I just adore. Um, gorgeous. She is, um, always wears a beautiful hat. She's an older woman. Um, she's African-American. She's just, 
I just, you know, she, she reaches out with her own style and way of saying things. And I only bring up her ethnicity because um, we have gone and been a part of, you know, several um, multicultural um, programs. And th we look for that. We have a daughter who's Asian. We look for that. You know, we are a blend, you know, we're a multicultural family. And um, anyways, and my, my husband is of mixed, you know, um, heritage. I mean, we all are, you know, in America. But it, it just makes my heart so happy to be in a place that everybody is loved, everybody is accepted. Um, the, you know, there's a praise team and or a praise group. I don't even know if they call them the praise team, the worship group or whatever. And they lead in the worship. And um, it, it just is a lovely time. And there are those that it's that there's one woman who's clearly a musician by trade and she sings her own uh, harmony that is com that's not even the same words you know and she does that from the you know from the congregation and then you know our old our previous pastor and our old pastor our previous pastor who's there brings his tambourine and there's another woman who brings her tambourine and you know I grew up in a very um I would I don't want to say stuffy but it was a first and anybody who's been a part of any, you know, denomination where it's a first, it's very suit, tie, proper, prim, you know, the whole thing. And I am not, you know, free to be you and me. You know, I mean, I'm really very old-fashioned in the way I think and um, in the way I live my life and the way I worship. And this is, this is as close to, if I could even say it, it's a Messianic Jewish church. I've said this before. They align themselves with the Baptist in San Antonio. The Passover's done in a Baptist church that we were members of years previous um, when our son was being born. Um, so many, many years ago. And um, But um, it is Messianic Jewish, so it gives you the Hebrew, Hebraic roots, and we love that. I mean, we love that application. It's the first time I've heard a pa pastor from the very, very first time that wasn't a teacher, that we weren't in a teaching class. It was a pastor for the very first time who used that passage in Revelations, I believe it's Revelations 3, where it talks about the cold and the warm, uh, the lukewarm water and the hot water running together and what that meant, what that example meant. Um, so, um, hold on one sec. Okay, and anyway, so I was really excited to hear a pastor for the first time kind of teach that from the pulpit. It was really good stuff. So, sorry, my husband's coming in, and I'm trying to get out of his way. So, anyways, um, but, so it was a really, really good day. So, I hope you guys are all enjoying your Sabbath. If, um, if you're involved in a church, um, or in a Bible study, or in a at least a really good Christian fellowship. And remember, the body of the believers is not the building. The church is not the building. It's the body of the believers. Sorry, I said that wrong. The body of the believers is the church. It is the people that you fellowship with. It is the people that you worship God with. It is the people that you study God's Word with. And um, so, um, but we shouldn't forsake the gathering together of believers. It's It's just... Like I said, it was like being home yesterday. It was so encouraging, and it's been so long. My husband and I talked about last time we were actually there for Sabbath, um, for Sunday, you know, for our church day, which is on a Saturday. Um, it was when my parents were alive, and we were having problems with caregivers pulling their shows. So, you can imagine how many years, it's been a long time, and we've been to Passover each year. We've never missed Seder or Passover and, of course, they had an app, and I could listen to the messages online, um, or on my app, but um, there's nothing like being together with your people. And, I mean, we were, it was so sweet. This one gentleman who I, we've not met yet, he came up and he introduced himself, and he said, you know, hi, I'm so-and-so, and we're going to have some food back there if you guys want to come eat. And, of course, we're just coming off this fast, so it was just like, oh, okay, thank you. And we were just more interested in talking to the different pastors, the two pastors, and, um, Anyways, and we had a lunch date um, with our, our daughter's friend. And so, anyways, um, we he was like, I brought Hebraic hot.